Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this bronzy, glowy summer makeup look. And I'm also going to be showing you some products I use for like the chest and shoulders to get that all over bronzy glow. I really like how it turned out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. All right guys, so I put my hair up in this crazy pony and put my little headband on. So the first thing I want to do today is like the body. I have two products, the L'Oreal Sublime, Sublime Bronze Summer Express. Summer Express? Oh my god, I can't talk today. This is a wash off body makeup lotion and this is in shade medium and the lights are going to make it so you can't see. So that's this one. And then I have like a little mini Vita Liberata body blur. This stuff is amazing. It just says HD skin finish and this is in shade latte medium dark. And then I also have this Mally Get Glowing Bronzing Mousse which looks like this. I'm going to put on the Vita Liberata and I'm just going to put it all over my chest area. That's why I wore a tank top so I'm just going to move my straps over and move my necklace and I just apply it right on the little brush and I'm just going to take it and start applying it on my chest area. Alright, see, and then you can see, I didn't use, I don't use a lot, um, but this stuff really helps blur, like it really blurs your imperfections and gives you like a little tan. I really, really love this stuff, especially for my legs, um, but I really, really like it. I think it looks pretty. There's no shimmer in this one, it's just matte. So then I'm going to take the Mally Get Glowing Bronzing Mousse, this one. And I'm going to take this one and do the same thing. Alright, so I don't know if you can tell on camera, but my shoulders, this one has a tattoo, but you can kind of see. And then my chest, I put it like on my collarbone and then throughout here. So it really, it's hard to tell on camera, but it really does give you like a nice all over. The Vita Liberata gives you a nice, just like all over evenness and then some color. And then the Mali one gives you a tiny bit of color, but really just gives you that nice like shiny glow. I really love them. And then the L'Oreal one is really bo just body makeup, so there's no shimmer or anything. Um, it's just literally body makeup. So like if you have any imper imperfections or you want to be like a little bit tanner on certain parts, like I'll put it on my legs um, and then on my chest area sometimes. And sometimes I'll even put it on my arms just depending on you know where I'm going or what I'm doing. But I just wanted to share those few products because they're really nice for the summertime. All right, and then for today's makeup look, I'm gonna start out with the eye, with the eyes, with the eyes today. Um, I really have been enjoying doing the eyes first, even like for like simple looks like today. Like today, we're just gonna do like an all over bronzy eye. So first, what I'm gonna do is start out. I did do my eyebrows just using my um, Elf Precise um, brow pencil, and I'm actually running out, so I need a new one. And I picked a pimple here, and I'm getting a pimple right here, so that's why I'm nice and red. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on my lids, and I'm just going to use my ColourPop um, concealer in light 18. And I'm just going to do a little bit just to even out the skin tone on my eyes. Alright, so I went ahead and um, prepped my eyes. I put the ColourPop concealer down and then um, set it with these two shadows from this Morphe palette, just these two mixed together. 
And then what I'm going to do is tap into some transition shades. So I'm going to mix um, these two right here and I'm just going to take it on a fluffy um, profusion brush. And I'm just going to work this into the outer um, edge of my eye and then up into the crease. Alright, and then once I have those two shades blended out, I'm going to take like a little bit of a deeper shade and then this mustardy shade. So this one here and this one. So I used these two before and now I'm going to mix these two together and just deepen up the outer corners just a teensy bit and that way once we put on the lid color it'll blend in a lot nicer. All right, and then for the bronzy lid shade, I'm going to be taking this Nude Sticks um, little chubby pencil in copper foil. It just looks like this, and it's just like a little um, chubby. It's like this really pretty, like, golden bronze shade. So what I want to do is put this all over my lid and just have, like, a really nice bronzy look. If my face looks really red, these lights are so hot. So I feel like my face is just like really showing it. So I'm gonna apply this just literally all over the lid, all the way from inner corner, all the way to outer. All right, and then once that shade's all blended on, I'm gonna take the same Morphe palette. By the way, this is the Morphe 25A palette. I'm gonna take this bronzy shade right here, and I'm just gonna um, pack this all over the lid where I applied the chubby stick. So I'm literally just gonna push it and like set it all into the eyelid. All right, and then jumping into this little Lorac unzipped, unauthorized palette, I'm going to jump into this shade called Unapologetic, which is this golden one right here. All these shades are super pretty, but I'm going to take this gold one right here, and I'm just going to apply this right in the center of my eyeball, so like line it up with my eye, but on my eyelid. So literally just packing it right here in the center of my lid. And then I'm going to go back into that same Morphe palette and take these two same darker shades and just blend out any harsh edges. So I'm just going right here on the outer corner and then up into the crease and just making sure we don't have any like lines, sharp lines going on. All right, and then I'm gonna jump into this chocolatey brown shade. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna mix these two brown shades right here and I'm gonna apply them on the outer edges to darken up um, the outer edges just to give it like almost like a gradient effect. And these um, nude sticks really do dry down. I don't even know where I put it, but it dries down. So you gotta, you gotta be careful. Like once you apply it and you wanna um, blend the edges, it's dried down. So you just gotta, you just gotta be careful. Alright, so then what I'm going to do is take those same two darker shades I just used and what I'm going to do actually is take them and just put it across my lash line. So like instead of liner, actually let me get an angled brush because it's a lot easier to do with an angled brush. This is just a angled little Morphe brush. So I'm going to mix those two dark 
chocolatey brown shades and I'm gonna apply it like how I would um, my liner. So right up against the lash line and I'm not being like precise or anything, I'm just really pushing it up into the lash line. Alright, so then I'm just going to take a big, clean, fluffy brush and just blend out those edges. Um, this is a Farrah 35E blending brush and I'm just really just going to blend it all out and make sure there's not any harsh edges. And the eyes are really going to pop a lot more when our face makeup is on. I know right now you can't really, I feel like you can't really tell, especially on camera, but once our face is on you'll it'll pop way more all right so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and apply some mascara and some false lashes I have my Too Faced better than sex mascara and then I have these two Ardell lashes I have the Fox Fox <laughs> the faux minx ones minx and then these are in 817 and then I have the Ardell Remy lashes and these are in 776 so I don't really know which ones I'm gonna use yet I think I'm leaning towards these ones so yeah I'm gonna do the Remy lashes so what I'm gonna do is cut them put on some mascara and then I'll be right so back. my favorite part is skin so jumping into skin um, I'm going to be hydrating with the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. I got a new one and I'm super excited because the old one was gross and had makeup literally all over it. So I'm going to take this and just apply it all over my face to moisturize. And then for primer, I'm going to be using my No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. And I'm just going to apply this, as always, where my pores are the largest, which is always right next to my nose. My forehead looks so shiny. And right on my forehead, get some of that shine away, and right onto my nose. Right, and then I have two foundations I want to mix together today. I have my L'Oreal Infallible, and this is the Fresh Wear. This is shade 465. This has been literally my go-to. This is my second bottle because I use this on a daily basis. I just love this stuff. Like, it just makes your skin look like completely airbrushed. I'm in love with it. And then I'm going to mix it with the Becca... Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. It looks like this. And then when you open this, it has like a little dropper at the top, if you can see it. So when you pull it out, it's like this. And then you just drop it. So I'm just gonna drop a few pumps of this or a few drops of this into my L'Oreal one. All right, so I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge and I'm gonna start blending this out. It is my favorite part of makeup just to see all of my imperfections just disappear. I love foundation and concealer. I have to say it's my favorite part of makeup. So you can tell it's like very luminous, but it doesn't, I don't think it looks too crazy because once concealer and powder is on, it won't look so luminous. Alright, so for concealer, I'm going to jump in with my Tarte Shape Tape. The under eyes are looking pretty bright, but it's okay because it'll all even out. I'm going to set the under eyes with the RCMA um, No Color Powder. So it's just a translucent translucent little powder. This looks like a legit like spice for the kitchen, but I love this stuff. It really sets your makeup 
really nicely and doesn't give you a weird flashback. Um, so I'm just going to set this with this little brush I actually got today. It's called a highlighting brush. Um, I got it from Rite Aid. They were having a huge sale today and like almost like all of the cosmetics were literally 70% off. So I was like in legit heaven. <laughs> So I'm just going to set everywhere I just put that concealer. So I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is what Their concealers are one of my favorites, and I love this too. Um, this is in shade Fawn. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of this because it does go a long way. And it's just like a little squeezy tube. And I'm just going to apply this where we would put our bronzer or cream contour. And then to blend it out, I'm going to take this little e.l.f. brush. Um, this is the e.l.f. 103 brush. It's just like a big um, angled, not too dense of a brush, but I feel like it'll be great for this. I feel like whenever I use a brush, I always have to go back over with a sponge. Like, I feel like a sponge just, like, diffuses everything. A little bit more of the shape tape, like, literally, like, a tiny dab. God, there's so much on here. Like, literally, a dab. And I'm just going to use that in the center of my forehead just to bring the highlight back in the center. And touched up my eyebrows because I definitely rubbed some of them off when I was doing my foundation and concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and set the cream contour using MAC Give Me Sun. This is like my favorite, favorite, favorite bronzer for the summertime. It is really like a really warm bronzer, but once I have it tan, I feel like it looks really nice. So I'm going to apply this everywhere. I put that cream contour and just like set it all in place. Okay, and then I really wanted to add this Lorac Tantalizer. It's like this little, hopefully you can see it, it's this little like shimmery bronze shade. It's a baked bronzer, that's the word I was looking for. So it just looks like this, it's super pretty. So it does have shimmer. So I just want to take, I'm just going to take this little angle brush. This is, I think it's just a Pro Fusion brush. And I'm just going to take this and just lightly go over my bronzer. Just on my cheeks, not on my forehead. Oh yeah, it just added like the teeniest bit of like a sheen. Yeah, I like that. All right, for blush, I have this Pacifica Little Duo. If I can get it open, there we go. So it's this little Pacifica Duo, and you open it up, and these are two, oh goodness, these are two blush shades. So obviously this one is like more warm, and then this is more of a pinky one. Um, it's called the Pacifica Coconut Blush. Although it does not smell like coconut, I wish it did. And then the back has a mirror on it. So I'm just going to take my little blush brush and I'm going to just mix the two together. One of them, the one looks like a, just like a bronzer, but I'm just going to mix the two and just tap them on. Alright, so I'm just going to finish up the lower lash line and then lips and then we will be all done. Oh my god, I almost forgot the highlight. <laughs> this is my favorite part. So I'm going to use this Artist Couture highlight. This is in the shade Summer Haze. It's super, super pretty. It's like a golden um, highlight. So I'm going to take this. I want to try to show you, but I don't want it to spill everywhere. If my camera will focus, it's this really pretty golden champagne -y shade. So I'm just going to take my little highlighting brush and, oh god, oh yeah, it is 
it's really pretty. It has little specks of shimmer in it, but like the right amount. Yeah, it's super pretty. All right, so now jumping back into the lower lash line, I'm just gonna take the colors that we started with. So I'm gonna take these two browns and I'm just gonna run them um, from side to side under my lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna take a little angled brush and just go in with the dark, um, chocolatey browns that I used on the outer corner and I'm just gonna run them on the outside like on the very outside of my lower lash line all right and then last but not least I'm gonna go back into the Lorac unzipped palette and I'm gonna take the whitish shade and the gold shade and mix them together and I'm gonna pop them in the inner corner All right, and then last but not least, I'm gonna do some lips. So this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in Stockholm, and over top of it, I'm gonna put the Kylie Gloss, and this is in the shade Literally. All right, so lips are on. I did like a peachy nude with the two shades that I showed you. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is set my face with the Morphe um, Continuous Setting Mist. And I'm gonna try to avoid my lashes. This one is already like wanting to pop up slash kind of is popping up. And let that soak in. All right, guys, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this bronzy, glowy makeup routine. I loved doing this. I love bronzy tones. They're like my go-to summer tones. I mean, any kind of warm tones. God, how many times can I say tones? Um, are my go-to's um, so I really love how it turned out I hope you guys did too don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys